All right, it's time to take my senior tribute bill to the next level. And I'm going to be doing that with a 572 big block supplied by Clint at Blue Collar Scale Customs. This is an incredible engine. This one, I'm going to be painting that engine. Rust-Oleum Flat Black Primer, Krylon Matte Black, Color Shot, which is heads or tails, and I might use this metallic dark steel. Here's everything prepared for paint. And here's everything painted in flat black primer. I didn't lose any definition on my 572 badges. That's what I was concerned about. So far, so good. Now I'm hitting it with the heads and tails by color shot. Now for contrast in my colors, I painted that block in the heads and tails and I got my valves in the black. Valve covers are black as well. Here's the intake manifold. I already paid my distributor black. Very, very detailed car. Full barrel. Now I'm painting my alternator. That's aluminum by testers. Also take care of those pulleys. Place them on the block. numbers on the valve covers the 572 was raised so high all I had to do is pull out a paintbrush and take care of everything now check this out there are already holes started for the spark plug wires all I gotta do is deepen them up with my drill I've never seen that on the engine Both sides taken care of. All eight spar plugs. I'm trying out a new glue. Loctite. Got it at Home Depot. Now I was a little nervous about drilling those holes in this resin engine. This is my first time doing it. Because you know resin can be a little tricky. It will crack on you. But with these holes already started with the pre-drilling, it was no problem at all. I'm adding my headers here. I'm going to work my wires around the headers. I just found it to be easier that way. And check this out. This is my first time getting an engine with pre-drilled holes for the distributor. It makes installing these spark plug wires a whole lot easier. That's four wires down already. Now I'm taking care of the other side. All eight spark plug wires have been installed. Now I'm adding that spark plug wire holder. That is flat black real easy. This is small details really add to an engine. Just my opinion. New product alert, to me acrylic paint. This is rubber black XF85 and I'm using it on my fan belt. It really makes that fan belt look realistic. There's another small detail. 
and check out their transmission. The transmission is by Manny and Manny Scale Modeling, another great creator of 3D parts. Now I'm getting my velocity stacks on here. And before I bring you the finished product of the 572, you gotta check out the classic 350V8 that came in a kit. You can't go wrong with it either. It's going in my diorama. I love the way it came out. It's that traditional Chevy orange. And there's our big dog. The 572 big block Chevy with the velocity stacks on it. I absolutely love the way this engine turned out. You can't go wrong with either one of them. The 350 or the 572. But for Terry's truck, we going with the 572.